Tonight, I'm announcing a new challenge to redesign America's high schools so they better equip graduates for the demands of a high-tech economy. And we'll reward schools that develop new partnerships with colleges and employers and create classes that focus on science, technology, engineering, and math. Representatives, in an effort to alleviate the effects of the anyone, anyone, the Great Depression, passed the anyone, anyone, the tariff bill, the Hawley Smoot Tariff Act, which anyone raised or lowered, raised tariffs in an effort to collect more revenue for the federal government. Did it work? Anyone, anyone know the effects? It did not work, and the United States sank deeper into the Great Depression. Today, we have a similar debate over this. Anyone know what this is, class? Anyone? Anyone? Anyone seen this before? The Laffer Curve. Anyone know what this says? It says... That SAT cutoff, GPA cutoff, SAT cutoff, Asian SAT cutoff, I think it's funny that students are just numbers to us. It's a weak app, but he went to St. Chester Tinton's Preparatory Academy of the Pines. For young men? Mm-hmm. Good school. Mm -hmm. This one should not have enclosed a photograph. 
We throw a lot of fancy words in front of these kids in order to attract them to going to school in the belief that they're going to have a better life. And we all know that all we're doing is breeding a whole new generation of buyers and sellers. Buyers and sellers. Pimps and whores. Pimps and whores. And indoctrinating them into a lifelong hell of debt and indecision. Folks, I know you're under great pressure because of the public exams. And you hear people saying a lot of things out there trying to give you a sense of security. But do you seriously believe that? Stephanie's father is part of a phenomenon that's taken Hong Kong by storm. You want teachers who expertise are teaching you concrete and essential skills. Celebrity tutors. They're sleekly packaged, carefully marketed. Their image is important as their teaching methods. Listen, think brilliant, think beacon. Eng co-owns Beacon College, a tutorial school with 15 centers and some 25,000 students focus examination techniques. The suit for excellence. When you are asked to do something, don't tell me, I have done it. When you say you have done it, ask yourself, is it in the best way or the best possible way or the perfect way? And discipline. With 1.2 billion people, trying to make it to the top in India can be tough. Most Indians believe that the key to success is getting a good education. Entrance into India's colleges and universities is based solely on the results of a high school student's board examinations. This year, students wouldn't even be considered for Delhi University's commerce program unless they scored at least 100% on their exams. Safety, which sounds like a very nice movie. Notice this is an aldehyde and it's an alcohol. Start differentiating into effector and memory cells. A galaxy. Hey, there's another galaxy. Oh, look, there's another galaxy. And for dollars, is there 30 million plus the 20 million dollars from the American manufacturer? If this does not blow your mind, then you have no emotion.
amazing chemistry, astronomy, and mathematics videos, Destin's mind-blowing demonstrations of Newtonian physics, Vihart's hands, ASAP Science, CGP Grey, Crash Course, Minute Physics, SciShow, Veritasium, Vsauce's 1, hey, 2, and 3, they all make YouTube videos. Not videos which end up on YouTube, and this is an important distinction. They're being viewed by millions of people, many of whom are students who are watching them even though they're not assigned as homework. I actually got laid off. I lost my job. I lost my job. I no longer have a job, I don't think. And the reason I no longer have a job, it's not my fault. So I think that's what pisses me Due off to a more. downturn in work within the construction industry at present and a reduced demand for our labour on various sites. We've, have, we've had to reduce the size of our workforce and there is no work for you to do at this time. It's quite a sad thing actually because there was like men I was working with with like, um, families and obviously children. I lost my job at the newspaper this morning and it was quite a devastating morning for me. I didn't even make it to my office, into my office. My Earlier boss week, told me in the hallway. I got made redundant. So, um, I wasn't really expecting to be in the situation. I think it's really recently, shocked and we are and feeling, I'm feeling it a bit. I'm a single mum, and so obviously it's, it's really important. I need to work, and it's important that, you know, that I have a job. We're all losing our jobs. <laughs>
climate change, deadly earthquake, a suicide bomber, terrorism, a nuclear device in the heart of the nation's capital. It's no wonder that we're pessimistic. It's no wonder that people think that the world is getting worse. But perhaps that's not the case. Perhaps we forget that we've only just begun. Doing what's never been done before is intellectually seductive, whether or not we deem it practical. What we're seeing is unfathomably new possibilities all of a sudden becoming available to us. The future doesn't belong to the faint-hearted. It belongs to the brave. You have to trust in something. Your gut, destiny, life, karma, whatever. We truly are living in an extraordinary time. And many people forget this. So now technically your device is on. <laughs> hey Joe, can you hear me? <laughs> the yearning to do what we do in the service of something larger than ourselves. Where did we come from? Are we alone in the universe? What is the future of the human race? When you conduct those exercises, innovation follows just as day follows night. We can do this. I know we can because we've done it before. Stay hungry, stay foolish.